Hello everyone. My name is Donna. This is my uh, midterm PBL. Um, the first part is general academic knowledge, uh, including differentiable derivative, uh, maximum and minimum integral, partial derivative, chain rule gradient and Hessian, uh, di directional derivative. Uh, Furman's theory on critical points, agent value and agent vector, diagonalizable matrix SVD, least square solution, pursue inverse, Taylor, the properties of PMF and PDF, permutation and, and combination, expectation and variance and standard deviation, Covariance matrix, gamma distribution and beta distribution, joint density function, stay more than five things that you learn. Uh, first one is Haitian matrix, double integration, Jacobian determinant, maximum and minimum, quadratic form. The relationship between vector and the determinant, inverse matrix, the method of finding is the square line, gram scratch sheet, QR decomposition, central limit theorem, co uh, covariance and correlation coefficient. Normal distribution and standard normal distribution, joint probability function and marginal probability distribution, expectation and variance and standard deviation. Uh, participation part, um, number of online attendance 24 times. Um, what did you contribute through this course? A uh, summary for uh, code practice from week one to week six. Summary for the key points from week one to week six. Uh, what did you especially remember while you are doing, uh, while you are learning this course? The reason why we firstly to study linear algebra is that all of things in this world can be described by using vectors. Moreover, linear algebra applies a best way to solve system of linear equations by using determinant and many types of matrix, especially Haitian determinant and Jacobian determinant and inverse matrix and diagonal matrix and orthogonal matrix. Moreover, Hessian determinant and Jacobian determinant can also be used in differential and probability. Moreover, we can use them to solve n dimension of data set. There are two main ways to reduce the higher dimension, including uh, SVD and PCA. PCA is a dimension reduction method, which means to reduce the rank of the covariance matrix by using SVD. More especially, uh, more especially, the process of dimension re reduction is either to delete some relative unimportant agent vectors, um, then use the rest of agent vectors to create a reduced space, as we or, or we can call it a smaller size of matrix. Although this method has to lost some agent vectors, the relative important agent vector will be re preserved will be preserved in the end in order to make sure total information of the dataset is as same as possible. Moreover, PC method is more efficient than the linear regression method due to the fact that there is maximum distance from each data to the linear function. Each data is orthogonal to the linear function. Thus, if we use the reduced size of matrix to analyze an application of each of such a large amount of data set, we will efficiently deal with data. Moreover, I am 
very interested in deep neural network. Amazing. The algorithm of deep neural network is that in order to decrease the error between predict value and correct value, which means to update the weight by using back propagation and gradient descent method. What did you learn uh, or feel while learning introductory method uh, math for AI? Uh, at the, with your classmates at the beginning of this course, I don't know how to study this course, but I saw many other excellent students uploaded summary and code practice for every week. Um, when you pick case, but that's, I did the same thing. Moreover, they are all smart person. I'm not a smart student, so I feel a lot of stress and I have no confidence to learn this course well. However, I also feel good academic atmos uh, atmosphere in Mueli Kispan, which means these excellent students have a great passion about learning this course. They have positive attitude toward learning and independent thinking. Uh, right name write names of your uh, PBL team members and team leader. I did my PBL report by myself. My name is Donna. The first topic is my report is uh, economic key points corresponding to the key points of basic mathematics for AI. The second topic is blockchain, uh, especially Bitcoin and probability uh, self-evaluation. Uh, learning contents, linear algebra and derivative and integration and probability. Mm, did you in, uh, do, did you understand the most of contents of this uh, learning process? I think maybe 65 to 70%. Uh, what kind of learning materials have you used, have you used to study? In Gongjinan, we have Kichu Suhak written by Isangu with Yi Zaihua, Linear Algebra written by Sangu Li with John Mark Kim, and, and many other uh, writers. Uh, fundamental Methods of ma Mathematical Economics written by Alfred C. Uh, Ching, Kevin Chao Yu Kao Yan. Written by Zhang Yu. Written by Hong Zhong Sun. What did you learn through the learning activities of this course? Many mathematical contents. I think the most differential point of this course between normal ma math course is that apply Sitch code and R code at the same time. Uh, Sitch code and R code is a, both are very useful tools to solve many uh, many problems in this world. What kind of, uh, what have you learned from the other colleagues? Uh, the contents written in Sage code can be rewritten by using Python code and many other deeper knowledge points. Self-evaluation for Q&A activities, uh, I think my score is 12. Uh, evaluation for other uh, students, maybe some summary written by me. I'm not uh, really sure. I'm not good at writing code. Self-evaluation evaluation to uh, satisf satisfaction according to the self-evaluation. I think only 65% I only uploaded some files and several questions. Mm, Sarah, according to the self-evaluation, I think uh thirty-five percent. I should, uh, I should more active, actively take finalized, uh, participation in in the last week. Mm, uh, this uh this part is evaluation of other colleagues, um, colleagues name. Kim Taeyun, Oh Hei Jun, Yang Ji Wan, Park Jong Hyun. They are very uh, excellent colleagues. Mm, name of uh, evaluator uh, is me. Mm, I think uh, they are very, they are uh, strongly agree. All the strong agree in the in this part. Um, Satisfaction according to the evaluation of other colleagues, I think almost um, 
uh, hundred scores, uh, they are uh, they provide many Python code and the process of proof and many other overall knowledge and positive and they all have positive attitude to learning. Uh, Sarah score to evaluation of other colleagues. Uh, I think no. They did perfect job. Uh, they are all excellent students. Um, PBL participation part. Um, total entries Q and A participation. Uh, total entries twenty four. Yours to be edit. I think uh, I will show. Uh, final K by SG Lee and TA written by other classmates and then um, add my comments. Yes, the first one. And my comments. The second one. And my comments. The third one. My comments. The fourth one. My comments. And then my comments, sixth, my comments, and then next one, the seventh, and my comments, next one is, and my comments, then my comments and the last one is this one and my comments next i will show these parts as shown below uh, from week one to week six uh, all these summary and code practice uh, week one summary Week one code practice. Uh, week two summary. Uh, week two code practice. Uh, week three summary uh, week three code practice week four summary um, week four code practice week five code practice Week five summary. Now week six code practice. Week six summary. Uh, next part is um, team project. Um, I have already uh, represented first topic last time, so I want to 
uh, represent another topic which could re relate to uh, Bitcoin and probability. This is uh, the last one. I will have a new one. Um, this uh, the new report is application of probability Bitcoin finance area and gamblers gamblers ruin problem and poison poison distribution. Uh, information can flow. Uh, freely on the internet nowadays, but payment cannot. However, we can use blockchain technology to make it happen in the future due to the fact that one of the most important properties of, block, of blockchain is decentralization. Application of probability um, calculation in finance area by using blockchain. Moreover, the first application of blockchain is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a decentralized cryptocurrency, which means it is one types of virtual currencies. Bitcoin is secured by mining. Mining mechanism is a proof of work algorithm simplified to say the security of Bitcoin can be verified by using probability including gambler's ring problem and poison uh, distribution. More detailed information will be shown below the process of proof many by using the longest chain rule. Uh, this part, uh, this part is uh, the probability of an uh, attacker catching up from a given deficit, catch up from Z block, Z blocks behind. Uh, this part hint is gambler's ruin problem. P represents probability. An uh, honest node finds the next block and Q represents probability. The, the attacker finds the next block uh, and the smaller Z of Q is the uh, represents probability. The attacker will ever catch up from Z blocks behind. And this is the uh, result. The second part uh, is the second part is the recipient waits until the transaction has been added to a block and they block have been linked after it explain the reason why the attacker Potential process will be a poison distribution with expected value lambda equals z multiplied by q over p with the assumption the honest uh, blocks took the average expected time per worker. Uh, due to the reason lambda multiply z equals q over p. Yes, and, and this is the result. Mm, the the last part is um explain why the probability the attacker could catch up from that point and rearrange the probability without summaring the infinite tail. Uh, this part of hint is poison den density. Um, and my uh, final comment mm, from week one to week four, I am, I am very interested in Robert 
because I like watching science fiction film since I was a little girl. So this is the reason why I chose in this course. However, at the beginning of this course, I have no idea how to learn this course after I saw many uh, excellent students who uploaded the file content summary and co-practice for every week. I tried to go through the same way. Thus, I uh, uploaded summary and code practice from week one to week six, but I didn't participate in finalized projects. Um, week one to week four, but I didn't participate in finalized projects. This is all my fault and I missed many good opportunities for discussing together and studying from each other. Therefore, I am going to actively participate in finalized projects. Um, I will try my best to participate, to practice writing code, though I'm not good at it in this way. Um, continuously from week five to week six, my participation in Q&A was not um, act activated. Uh, I should make more questions and discussions in Q&A. Moreover, uh, I had not worked hard enough. I should make more of an effort to study this course. Uh, I'm very grateful to Professor for his help, uh, including the translated websites and many YouTube videos, both are in English. Professor helped me a lot. Thank you for your help. I really appreciate and I will work hard on this course. Um, the next part is my Zonggangosa Kwaze. Mm, then that's it. Thank you for your listening.